Welcome to the Terminal Exchange, Gus Posada. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, today, I, I, Gus actually approached my desk to ask about a uniform, and little did he know that um, he would be on the show. <laughs> <laughs> they cornered me into the, you know, into doing it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I'd like to ask you, how did you end up behind the wheel? I started at, um, I was working at Sprouts. Um, it was a grocery store and, um, I was an assistant produce manager and it was, I was there for nine years and I was like, I was training produce, assistant produce managers, you know, how to do their job right and all that. And they were getting promoted faster than I was and mm. I was unloading the trucks and the, the truck drivers were like, oh yeah, man, it's like uh, we bring home 15, 1600 a week and we're home every weekend and um, sometimes throughout the week and I'm like, wow, okay, well, you know, that's a lot more than I was making. I mean, I was making 400 bucks and I was just like, it has to be a change and um, my bills kept piling up more and more and more and we're looking for at for foreclosure mm -hmm. on the house uh -huh. and um i jumped to trucking i mean my check was 200 dollars a week and um we fell from one month behind to 11 months behind on our mortgage oh. and on that on the on that day it was like I was parking my truck at the Loves at um, in, in Anna, mm -hmm. and I parked right next to another driver from Newsbomb. Yeah, and he, me and him started getting out because I, I saw the Faith and Family on the truck on the trailer. Yeah, and I started talking to him. I was like, "Hey, how's the company to work for?" And he's like, "It's awesome. They take care of you. They treat you like family. Um, any problems, they." go out of their way to help you out um and i was just like wow and for some rude reason it's like i felt that was the like a perfect time and it was like like a beacon mm. the truck that i saw from news bomb was like a beacon mm. that helped that you know god you know put him there at that time yeah and as me and him were talking, my wife was filling out the application mm -hmm. and I turned around and I told her, I was like, I'm going to apply. And she's like, oh yeah, they're already going to call you tomorrow. Like, <laughs> what? Yeah. And she's like, yeah, they're going to call you tomorrow. I'm like, but I haven't even done nothing. And uh -huh. She's like, I already did it. Oh. I'm like, wow. Okay. And, yeah. um, and they called me, Tian called me the next day and me and her started talking and, uh -huh. um, they rented me a car. I was like, wow. I mean, I, I mean, starting from there, mm -hmm. I knew it was going to be better. Yeah. And our life was going to be better. Yeah. And because of being here with Newsbomb, I was able to afford for the first time to go to Disney World to take oh. my family. I've never been. I've yeah. never been on vacation. Okay. Um, ever. Um, all my, like, all those years working at the grocery store, I always had to save my vacation because in the winter, um, hours get cut and sure. you have to start using your vacation Aww. to make up those 40 hours because they'll cut you down to 15 hours for the week. Wow. And, you know, you have to use your vacation to make up that that hour. So yeah. I'd never been on vacation until I came here. And How long were you here before you got to go to Disney World? Uh a year one year. one year as soon as i got my vacation and oh. um all our the mortgage was caught up and everything yeah. you know we were able to afford a good car and because our car got repossessed and oh. um yeah the first year we're like we're going to disney world oh. <laughs> you know so <laughs> my both of my kids were excited i was yeah. excited how I was old more, were, were they at that point um they were about my my daughter was f my youngest one was four and my oldest one was um 13. 13. oh no 12. 12. my bad okay yes and um i was more excited than they were uh. so i mean <laughs> i saw mickey meanie oh. you know I, was, I saw everybody i was just like 
excited. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So um, you talked about before you didn't really have the opportunity for professional growth at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. And you also kind of just talked about um, maybe the culture at those other places wasn't what you were like expecting. So do you feel at New Spalm you have room to professionally grow? Oh, you do. I mean, um, in every way and shape and possible. I mean, it's like they they give you all the tools that you know to grow. I mean, it's mm-hmm. like it just it's up to you. Yeah. To keep going forward. Yeah. You know, if, I mean, I love driving. Mm-hmm. So I mean, I don't want to do anything else but drive. I I love to drive. Yeah. And um, I like driving overnight because it's everything's shut down. You know, yeah. it's like. Yeah, I can just drive calmly, nobody bothering me. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, but yeah, I mean, I, I love it here. Yeah, yeah. So you, um, you're you a certified red driver, mm-hmm. is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So why don't you tell us a little bit about how you, you got to be a certified red driver? What What is certified red? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just another program that Nussbaum came up with and um, – it's just everything that you do already uh-huh. out there is just to Make me is intentionally what do you mean like like really like putting in the effort to on like fuel mileage or yeah i mean um <laughs> i really don't know how to explain it <laughs> yeah i mean it's just i mean it's just everything that you do up there i'm um, out in the in the real world you just show Corey, you know um that you can do it, yeah. And and Dell, you know, it's like that you can know you know how to park, you know how to um, do stuff. Yeah, yeah. So you you didn't think it was like a very difficult thing to no, achieve. Ma'am. It was just doing your job well. Yes. Yeah. And then I'm, some hands-on training and um, making sure your scorecards up to a good point. Yes, ma'am. I mean, it was just follow the rules <laughs> yeah pretty much i mean um that's all <laughs> yeah yeah okay so um yeah culture wise it's it's special because today you you were getting your like truck repaired or um and some things with your tablet and uh you mentioned you just like walking around and, and visiting oh yeah i mean i, I love coming here because i mean i love talking to everybody and mm-hmm. It was a good thing because um, I, I needed to get my truck worked on because um, it was some stuff that they needed to, not major. I yeah. mean, it's just some stuff to touch up. And but I love coming here. I mean, I love talking to everybody here. I mean, mm-hmm. in the office. I mean, in the shop, too. I mean, they're awesome. Yeah. They treat you like your family. Mm-hmm. And that's what I love about it. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> yeah. You do kind of have to get used to I mean, I have to do this all the time in my job. It's just like the art of interrupting because mm-hmm. <laughs> everyone's always working. You're not just like kind of waiting for someone to come and like <laughs> need to see you. So, yeah, I, I think it's 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 sweet that like you do have to turn and interrupt and say, hey, I got to talk to you about something. But everyone's so receptive to stop what they're doing and give you like their full attention, mm-hmm. which I really appreciate that because. Oh, yeah. Um, oh. I love it, but I mean, it's like when safety comes up and it's like, hey, I got to talk to you. I'm like, oh, <laughs> what did I do now? <laughs> and yeah. they're like, no, 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 you didn't do nothing. You know, just want to talk to you. How you doing? You know, but yeah. I mean, it was like when they, when it's just something about like when safety comes up, it's like, you know, it's like they're higher up and they're like, you know, what I do? <laughs> yeah. Know, so. Yeah. I, I understand that. <laughs> um, so Disney World, is that? The first time you went, was that the only time you went? Or no, we you? went, um, I think, two more times after that. Then we went to Colorado. I mean, it's just mm-hmm. Nussbaum's giving me, giving our family the freedom to do stuff and and be normal. I mean, to me, it's like be normal. I mean, like go on vacation, you know, yeah. it's like to me, that's normal. I mean, yeah. but before it was just like I could just imagine, mm. you know, it's like, Growing up, I mean, I couldn't even think about, you know, we couldn't even think about going to anywhere vacation-wise. Yeah. I mean, it was just rough. Yeah. I so mean, you're from Texas. You said Anna, Texas. Mm-hmm. 
and have you grown up there your whole life uh yes ma'am um well i grew I, I was born in mexico and grew up here okay so i mean um going from there to here is it's a big difference and um i've learned english like really fast because i mean i was young when i came here so sure. it's like i picked it up faster yeah so so you, you can speak spanish as well mm -hmm. okay i can i can't um read or write it but, oh you know what i mean but, yeah um i can speak it you know i mean yeah. with no problem so you couldn't read like a, a spanish novel no no <laughs> oh no i'd be, I'd be just like yeah, but, uh, what what but you can understand when people are oh, yeah. talking yeah that's odd oh yeah i mean but i mean i, I don't really write it i mean when i go see my parents you know we just sure. talk and you know yeah so they still live there and they live in dallas oh but, so okay yeah i mean we i go down there and visit as whenever i can i mean yeah. you know I'm only having two days off but you know it's like kind of hard to keep going you know mm -hmm. keep um because they live about like 50 miles away and during especially dallas traffic <laughs> i don't want to deal with it so yeah. it's just like i'll just stay up there in anna pretty yeah. much so. Yeah. so someone um that like you you weren't originally a driver you came from a different industry and then you met a few drivers that made it sound very attractive. Mm -hmm. So what would you say to someone that would be in a similar position like that, where they're just kind of in a place where they, they need to earn more, but maybe they're not sure about like that lifestyle of being on the road? I say do it. I mean, um, you got nothing to lose. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it's so much better. I mean, yeah, you sleep in a truck, but you have a microwave, TV, um, refrigerator and especially with news bomb that keeps everything running perfect mm. uh, you know you can't go wrong yeah especially here yeah i mean well i'm sure sometimes we might need to repair some things so well, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> they, they do i mean but yeah if it's something where it's gonna cost you discomfort mm -hmm. they go out of their way to get you here or into a rental and also note to anyone listening we don't provide the tv but we would put it in there yes <laughs> <laughs> yes i mean they, we provide it our, our the drivers the driver do provides it, yeah. and they just install it yeah and but but being, we do provide the refrigerator and the inverter um the inverters are great the you know the refrigerators are great yeah. i mean everything i mean yeah i love it so when you're um Oh, on the road are you and you run into another new spawn driver are you like getting exciting and visiting with them or yeah i mean i like to park right next to them or real close where Aww. they can you know they can see me or i can see them and you know it's like we'll go out in and go have dinner or you know Aww. like talk you know but sometimes you know it's like they're in a different time schedule than i am so it's like they like oh well i gotta go to bed and i'm like well okay well i'll start walking around now. yeah I walk the parking lot and I get my steps in. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You have any like close new spawn buddies that you? Oh yeah, a lot of them. I mean, especially my like my first trainer. I mean, um, Clark. Clark. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Clark Reed. Clark Reed. Okay. Me and him talk all the time. I mean, you know, it's like there's so many to mm -hmm. you know to name. I mean, but yeah, you know, it's like everybody. I mean, I like to talking to everybody. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. So, um, with the CB radio, what is it? The CB. C mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you ever just like chat with people on there that you don't know? Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah. I mean. Like, is it used for like, let's say there's a driver ahead of you, like their tail lights out and you'd be like, hey, you're. I let them know. I yeah. mean, um, there's a lot of them, you know, it's like, hey, driver you know you have a light you know that's out you know i don't know if you know and it's like oh no i didn't know you know oh you know. well now you know <laughs> you know i let them know i mean some of them like oh yeah you know i know but i'm going up here to the truck stop and get it fixed but sure. thank you you know and, yeah and we communicate i mean you know it's, we let we let each other know what the traffic road closures or if, you know if there's any bears up in, in up in in front of us and you know so. bears oh cops oh i'm sorry I police officers i should be looking out for <laughs> bears now on the road <laughs> no no i mean well we call you know, police bears i mean you know i mean i don't know why but you know I, just... 
Oh, no, we have a visitor at the window. <laughs> it's Dale. <And> that's Dale. <laughs> yeah, I mean. That's so, a bear right there, actually. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. But I, lo- I love it here. I mean, I love driving. I love everything about Nussbaum. Okay. Um, so at Nussbaum, we, we say we're purpose-driven, right? Mm-hmm. What would what would you say that that means to you? Purpose, um, purpose driven. I just I see it as just being better at what you are and trying to accomplish something. I mean, it's like yeah. me. I'm just accomplishing going home at the end of the well at the end of the week yeah. you know making sure i get home safe and yeah. um i do my job right yeah and to me that's accomplishing you know i mean yeah it's just it's doing good work yes essentially yes yeah. and get reward, rewarded for it and and news bomb is really great with that yeah so yeah it's very good um so do you have any like specific goals as a driver? Not really. I mean, no. <laughs> no, I, mean I just I just want to drive. I mean, you know, so yeah. I, I just want to keep doing what I do good. Yeah. And you you did mention that safety is something pretty important to you. Um like you talked about mm-hmm. with like speeding. So you or speed. Um so when you first got to New Spawn, what was your perception on like how fast you could go versus now? Not much, because, I mean, um, when I was over there, I was going only 62 miles an hour. I come here, and we're governed at 65, Yeah. but they want us to go 63 now. It's tempting. I mean, it's having the extra two miles. I know it's just two miles, but yeah. when, when you go 63 for five hours, and then you go another five hours after that at 65, you see the difference, uh, but fuel and safety, because I understand now for safety. Yeah. And at first I didn't understand. I'm like, man, why, why? Yeah. You know? But now it's like, oh, okay, you know, you back down and you don't stay in front of the pack. You know, it's like mm-hmm. you stay behind the pack and you don't stay with the pack or, you know, so. Yeah. I like it. Safety's number one. Yeah. Have you ever witnessed him in like a major accident on the road or? Uh, several. I mean, where people don't are tailgating really close, and I've seen the truck run into the back of um, another truck. Oh. And I mean, me. I mean, I'm back, so it's like I can see it. Yeah. And I've seen some like swerve at the last minute because they're following again, and they swerve off the road and. You know, yeah, and not good, but mm-hmm. yeah. Um, do you have any kind of like over the road stories of like someone doing like a real kindness to you, like you, or maybe you did it like you you were really kind to someone else? I mean, I've paid for showers for other drivers. Oh. I mean, um, I've had like they call them hot shots and because they drive like little pickup trucks like well not little but i mean to us it's little because we're in a big truck sure um they're in dualies and yeah. they're hauling trailers with like deliveries yeah. you know but they work off of a pickup truck oh. and most of them don't have showers or whatever i mean or they're trying to save their money and oh. i get free showers from loves and so i'm oh. like you know what I'll use my free shower points for you. I mean, you know, since you don't, you don't can't buy it right now. I mean, yeah. And sometimes I'll buy him dinner, you know, or lunch or whatever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've, I've, I've had several do that to me one time, you know, Mm -hmm. it's like, cause I went and ended up in a pilot and I was trying to pay for a shower and I got the guy behind me, a driver and he's like, Hey, put your wallet away you know i'll get i'll get it for you i'm mm. like wow okay cool yeah. thank you you know so it's just i paying it forward i mean you know it's yeah. like they do it to me and i do it to other people i mean you know it's like i buy them i've had one lady um just a regular car driver yeah a four-wheeler and um she 
it was admiring my cup because I had a big old Luff's cup. I yeah. mean, it's big. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen them, but, I mean, they're big. And she was like, oh, wow, you know, I would love to have one of those cups. And um, I just, out of not even thinking about it, I just grabbed one. I paid for it, and I gave it to her. And I was like, here you go. I mean, you know, yeah. this, this comes with a free refill. <laughs> and, and so she was thankful, you know. Yeah. Like, she thanked me a lot, and yeah. her husband thanked me. Oh. And so it's, yeah. it's fun. I mean, you know, it's yeah. like you get to meet people out there at the shipping, receiving, you know, different people. I mean, I love it. Yeah. I've just always been so curious about, um, like, the the culture or the environment of, like, you're in the truck um, for, you know, five, usually five days at a time, right? Uh, Well, now it's going to be five, but before it was um, two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I just feel like you could grow pretty, like, Maybe it might just like flatline with emotions if you're just always just doing your own thing, just paying attention to yourself. And um, I like to pay attention everywhere. I yeah. mean, I like to know my surroundings. Yeah. I mean, I like to see everything. Yeah. And I mean, I don't like to do the same thing. I like when I park, I like to walk in the whole parking lot. I go yeah. into the truck stop. I come out and um, talk to other drivers there. I mean, you know, as I'm yeah. walking and... Um, I've had a lot of people join me walking because they see me walking. Yeah. And they're like, hey, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, I'm just walking, you know, because we're sitting down most of the time. And Yeah. Oh, okay, I'll walk with you. Oh. And I've, I've times, you know, I had like, what, 10, 15 people? 10, 15 people in a group. Yeah, walking around the parking no. lot. No. Yeah. And, and you're just at the front of the pact? No, well, we'll be, like, <laughs> we'll be like all lined up. I mean, you know, it's like in a ball, you know, it's like walking around and, uh, and little by little, it's like, hey, you know, well, I got to go, driver, you know. Uh, see ya. Be safe. And, yeah. You know, I'm like, all right. Oh. So it's, it's fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you get all those move it points. Yes. So that's yes. good. Yeah. That is rich, yeah. And seeing this is the only company like or that I've heard of mm-hmm. and that I know of is like that reward you rewards yeah. you for that, you know, for yeah. being healthy. Yeah, you know, so yeah. I love it. <laughs> yeah. So if you're not familiar, at, um, if you were anyone at New Spawn, any employee, driver, shop, office, whatever, um, we have a move it program. So depending on like how many steps you get in a day, you can get points for that. Um, and if you lose weight, we, we also have a lose it program. Um, and, and so, yeah, you can kind of stock up on points and you can, you know, get a PTO day. That one Mm -hmm. would probably take some time. That's (laughs) my goal right now, (laughs) but, um, yeah, so that's, that's really special. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, when you're talking to one of the reasons I ask you about like the kindness right now, I'm, I'm moving into a new, um, apartment and it's been like ex- like just miraculous. So many people have been like, oh, I have this couch or this like table or this or that. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I'm already thinking about like, okay, when I move out, like I can't wait to like do the same for someone else that is in need and mm-hmm. um, just kind of that like pay it forward attitude or, mm-hmm. you know, freely we've been given, <laughs> um, freely do we extend. Yeah. So, I mean, I like doing it. I mean, I like, I mean, when I was with um, CR England, um, I had a bunch of like those com data checks, huh? like over here is EFS cards yes. or EFS checks, yeah. and um, over there is com data checks. And um, I've had a stack, and I give them to drivers because I'll see them. Like, oh man, I don't have a EFS check, you know, yeah. or like a com data check. And I'm like, here you go. You yeah. Know? Oh, how much do you want? I'm, no, man. Yeah. It's free, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, if, if you ever have an extra one and another driver needs one, pay it forward. Yeah. You know, I like doing that. I mean, you know, it's mm-hmm. like I don't expect anything back. I never want anything back. Yeah. Just do it forward. I mean, you know, pay for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I have something for you. I don't know if you'll be able to pay this one forward. This is just... <laughs> So since I'm the uniform lady, I know like what size clothing you are. So <laughs> um, does it does it rain much in Texas? Yes. Oh, it does. Good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you can open it. You can you pull it out. Oh. Oh. It's 
It's a rain jacket. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Which, where do I? Which, yeah, there's too many cameras to show, but. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So that's just, yeah, to say thank you for your thank bravery. No, I'm saying thank you to you for for being on <laughs> being on here and um, and talking with us. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I was like, I, I got tired of wearing the, because I have that thick Carter's jacket. Uh -huh. And every time it rains, I'm like, I got to pull out that big jacket. Uh. And I'm like, well, this one, I was thinking of getting one too. And I'm like. Should I? Should I not? I was like, I've been debating, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> but thank you. Well, there's one condition. Yes, If you do go to Disney World, you said last time you were there, it downpoured and rained, so mm -hmm. you you got to bring the jacket with. Yes, I will. <laughs> and I, I will show pictures. I will take pictures yeah. with it. Yeah. When uh, when you went there with the girls, what was their favorite like character they saw? Um, everybody. I mean, my they both loved uh, Mickey, Minnie. Mm -hmm. um, they, they love everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, um, me and my daughter, my smallest one, because she was too small to ride on rides, so me and yeah. her went on the small rides, and my wife and my oldest one went on their... The big rides. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can't do roller coasters. So, no. No, mm -hmm. so I stay on the small ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just love the, like, adrenaline of feeling, like, alive. But, yeah, sometimes it's like, I just want to keep my wife, so... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, especially with um, Universal, uh -huh. they have the Harry Potter and they, they have the, I don't know, some big, real big one. They just go straight up and then straight down. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. 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 What's, um, yeah, what's the most, like, in brave thing you've ever done besides this show? Got into a roller coaster with my daughter for the first time and last um, that was the yeah that was the most <laughs> yeah <laughs> I um, mean but I mean all serious I mean getting going from produce assistant produce manager to a truck driver that was the biggest and scary thing I ever done because mm. I mean I was always I like to be comfortable yeah and going from there to there was a big jump and I don't regret it, and um, it was awesome. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I love it. <laughs> so you had to go through training and the class and all of that. Yes, uh, I went through all that. I mean, it was, I mean, when and I first got into a truck, I was just like, wow. You know, I was like shaking, and then going to go take my driving test, and especially in Dallas, mm -hmm. I was like ready to pass out, and <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And then that that cost something too, right? Like, or was it sponsored by the company? It was sponsored by CR England. Okay. They paid for it, and um, yeah, but it cost. Um, a big change. So it was a big change that I was. Just yeah. Not regretting. Yeah. Now. Mm -hmm. And was your family excited about it, or? Uh, my wife was like. Are you sure you're gonna go from from produce to truck driving? Yeah, and she supported me. Yeah, I mean that's the that was the main thing right there too that she supported me, and she was behind me 100 mm. percent through the bad times and good times. Yeah, she stood beside me, and yeah. I love it. I mean my kids were excited to. Yeah. That I was gonna be a you know big truck driver and until they got to the truck and they saw how loud it was. <laughs> no, you can keep the truck over there. So, I mean, yeah, but I love it. Yeah, yeah, wow. So if there was anyone that was curious and wanted to talk to you about you know that decision and like how did you come to that change, would you ever be open to? talking with anyone oh yeah i mean I, I would talk to anybody about it i mean yeah. you know it's like and i would support anybody that's or talk to that's thinking about doing it yeah i would back them up all the way yeah. and i would um show them 
the way you know it's like i will not let him on yeah. just go over here you know yeah. i would sit down and talk to him and be the road captain yeah you know be the road captain and yes. and i've talked to a lot of drivers i have the you know that are other company drivers yeah. that i tell them you know it's like hey if you ever have any questions call me yeah i give them my phone number even new drivers here yeah you know that they call me mm-hmm. hey how do you do this how do you do that oh, okay yeah. you know i'll do the i'll go right through them you know yeah. step by step and i love doing that i mean Good. you know because i don't like people doing something that they don't know what to do sure you know because it's not good yeah <laughs> yeah yeah wow well that is awesome um did you have any other um thoughts that you wanted to share about no <laughs> no? <laughs> no i mean i mean I just, there's not enough i can say about this company i mean sure. it's just everybody is great i mean and i tell everybody that i talk to it's like other companies hey this bomb is awesome yeah you know it's like you won't regret it yeah you, you'll love it <laughs> well it, it takes each person here being intentional and that's i think why it's a really good place to work because people i mean we're employee owners right Mm -hmm. so we're each we each have like ownership in the company so i think that also um adds to the culture and adds how we treat each other Mm -hmm. um so yeah it's it is a special place to work well see and with especially with you it's like every time when i have a question about like uniforms or you know the movie programs or anything you always take your time is like even if you're doing something on the computer yeah well like everybody here but too but i mean but you especially it's like you'll stop and you turn around and like look at me yeah and you you know it's like yeah you're interested in like yeah. hearing what i gotta say you yeah. know it's like well i think you drivers are essentially like just a ton of like people on missions mm-hmm. like and i'm like ah they're here they're they're taking a break <laughs> from their mission <laughs> must pay attention <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah well i appreciate everybody here i mean everybody i mean it's yeah. they're awesome yeah okay well thank you so much for your time thank you for being um such a, a bright spot here too it's like always exciting when you come in and um yeah we all look forward to hearing from you and it's been a little over four years since you've been here i hope we can keep you for like 30 more um <laughs> I don't know about 30 more i mean i'll, I'll be ready to retire pretty soon <laughs> uh, will you will you keep going to disney world i think we all want to know oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah um i've actually never been so no i've been to orlando studios but never disney world and take some comfortable shoes okay and yeah. a fan yeah buy a little portable fan with the spray yeah for people just spray <laughs> them if they're being bad <laughs> No, well, no, for kids, you know, <laughs> like, hey, get, shh, wait, you know, no, I'm just fine. No, because yeah. when it gets hot, it gets hot. Okay. So. Yeah. All right. But, and take a rain jacket. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> it's uh, Florida and it, there's showers all the time. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, thank you for being on here and we'll see you next time. Yes, ma'am. You've been listening to Terminal Exchange the official podcast show of Nussbaum Transportation. Nussbaum is an industry leader in over-the-road freight transportation. For more information on Nussbaum's award-winning truckload services and top-paying driving careers, go to Nussbaum.com or NussbaumJobs.com. Thanks for listening to this episode of Terminal Exchange. New episodes arrive every Tuesday, so be sure to subscribe to our show wherever you listen to podcasts and share a little love by writing us a review. Then, go deeper into each exchange or listen to previous episodes at our podcast page, TerminalExchange.org.